My name is LaDonna Green and my husband Troy Green. And the kid's name is Troy O'Brien Green Jr. and Layla Catherine Green. The kids were born on um, February 19th at 24 weeks and they were one pound six ounces and one pound four ounces. Um, I was already at the hospital and um, when they had to take me in for our emergency section and they delivered the babies and they went straight to the NIC unit after, once they were delivered. Um, when Troy was born, um, he had lung, he had fluid in his lungs and um, they gave him a short period of time possibility to, as far as of, of making it. They had to insert a tube to drain the fluid off his lungs. He also had a brain, a bleed on his brain and um, it, it was very critical. Layla, um, when she was born, most of um, her lungs, they weren't fully developed. And they, um, at that time, they, they both had to be placed on um, breathing machines. After about two or three weeks, that's when they started noticing a couple other issues. Their eyes, um, they had to have, both had to have eye surgeries. Layla had to have a PDA litigation. PDA did not close up on two, two times trials as far as with the, um, the medi medication. And later on, later, Layla had um, another episode where she was swelling a lot, a lot of fluid, which at that point, fluid got into her lungs and they had to insert a chest tube and f to drain fluid off of her lungs also. Um, during, this, during Troy's day, continuously they drained the fluid off of his brain, the, the, the bleed, and they um, inserted a reservoir and they drained the fluid and we were notified that he would most likely have to have a shunt. And um, other than the chest tubes, Troy, and the shunt surgery, they had to co closely monitor him for that and they inserted the shunt right before he came home. Layla had to have um, eye surgery also and she, she had to have an um, a ostomy bag on her stomach because they found that she had a small hole in her intestines. So she also had to have that for a couple of weeks until they you know, do the surgery and then several weeks after for it to heal. Once it was healed, they was able to take the bag off and for a long time she, did, she really was just on protein and IV fluids, not even formula or milk or anything like that. And once that, that healed up, that's when they started prepping her for coming home as well. The nurses at the NICU were great. They, um, they really, from day one, they were, you know, really welcoming. They understood the situation and they, they treated us like family. They educated us on everything that we needed to know about the, our children and bringing them home. Um, one of the nurses even, you know, trained Troy on how to bathe. <laughs> TJ and she made sure he was when he said he was coming she was there and on the clock to make sure that he you know knew how to handle a little bit a newborn and um, they educated me on all of the medical what was going on with the kids you know the, the the NPs they would call every day I got a phone call from the doctor or the NP as far as what was going on with the children and when I actually arrived on the unit the nurse was there to further explain what was going on they were very helpful and helping us to deal with the issues that were going on with our kids. They were wonderful. When Troy and Layla, when we brought them home, we came home with Women's Hospital Home Health for um, services because they were on monitors. And since then, we have also um, used the Women's Wellness Center for speech and occupational and physical therapies. We, the, both kids um, have received speech therapy, uh, occupational therapy and physical therapy, and they're now about to start the speech therapy program. The, um, the therapists were really good. They worked with Troy and I in making sure we knew what we needed to have at home, how to deal with difficult situations, the unexpected, you know, the scary moments, and also just there to let us know that they were there for us. Even after the kids went home, you know, they were just a call away. They helped us, you know, of course, learn CPR, make sure that we were CPR certified, uh, understood the CPR process when we would go home. and. Um, make sure we have the right equipment for the kids to bring them home as well. Um, since we've had the kids, it has really um, strengthened, for one, our faith and our belief in God. And Troy and I have really become closer together. And, uh, um, you know, 
throughout everything, he was like my backbone. No matter what was going on, he has truly been there for us, very strong, and no matter what, it's going to be okay. That attitude always. Um, considering the fact that he had never held a baby before the kids were, and he would not hold a baby before the kids were born, um, even children in the family, if they weren't walking, he wasn't holding them. So having two newborns, less than two pounds, it was truly amazing to see him, you know, develop and open up because it was, you know, it was our children and he, um, he took to them very well and um, opened up to, you know, that new experience. And even today, watching him, he bathes them, washes, you know, get them cleaned up and dress them. It's really amazing to see them work together. You know, he's, he, he all the tubes and the, you know, the medical and the needles and things like that, he, um, he understands it, he knows, but he also, you know, gives the opportunity for it, you know, the doctors, for me to work with the doctors really closely. And we just have an open communication as far as to what's going on what's developing with the kids and he pretty much you know is just my strength really you know lets me handle it but he's truly my strength behind me and i appreciate that <laughs> well she pretty much said just about everything so <laughs> um you know it was a a big beginning for me the first time at at my age and i mean i got to truly say that she is a great mother She's a great wife. Um, words can't express how how much I love her, and I may not tell her all the time, but it, it it really has strengthened us through all of this. Having the services available at Women's Hospital and the team at Women's Hospital, we were very grateful to be able to stay here at home. Um, the 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 hospital was great, but it also allowed our family to be a big part of you know the the situation as well as the healing and our kids getting better and growing. Um, the, the team at Women's Hospital, they worked with us. They knew our family. They helped them to be there with us. They allowed that. And just having everything here at home, you know, in Baton Rouge, close by where that we were, we were here with supporters. We had our backbone, his parents, my parents, our, our sisters, they were all there for us and here at the hospital. I mean, everyone at the hospital knew our family when they, you know, would come up to see the babies. And a lot of times if I couldn't get there, Troy couldn't get there, we would call up someone to say, can you go check on them? Or can you go and just tell me that they're doing okay today? And the, 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 the team, the nurses, everyone knew, and they allowed that. So it was really important for us to, you know, continue to work, go back to work, and have that support and the team here in Baton Rouge.